gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2. This is the Tides of Evening, and it is I, the Golden Joe Oblivion. And we are here. We are here with our, our new man, Lord Ronald of the Torrentines. So now, a lot of you are probably wondering, what the hell, Joe, is going on with this series? Gerald the Dark Star has died of... Of the Grey Plague, unfortunate. Cut right through the man. It cut right through him. Probably was, uh, probably was a plague sent by the gods. Uh, 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 insulted by the, um, by the audacity of the Dark Star. But you're probably wondering, what are we doing here? What are we doing with Lord Ronald of the Torrentine? And I decided that for, uh, kind of, sort of, due to popular, popular, what would you call it, opinion, desire, they, uh, many people want to see the series actually continue. Some people said we should go back an episode and, un and make sure we, that we avoid the Great Plague. Other people have said we restart the series altogether, and I've decided we're not going to do any of those things because I, I hate repeating myself. They're, they would be kind of cheesy, and I like the idea that we have to own up to our mistakes. And uh, Gerald Darkstar, while he may be dead, and he was the certainly the star of the series, I see no reason that House Dane should be uh, spared the dark fate of uh, of the Dark Star. I like to think that the Dark Star will live on in each and every one of them until one day we we get the kingdom of the Torrentine. So I thought, where better to start next than with his brother, close kin, Lord Ronald of the Torrentine, for, who is, as far as we can tell, a relatively good guy, just uh, gregarious, a gardener, but he is cynical and he is paranoid, and I believe that we can we can mold him into something worthwhile. And if we can't mold Lord, if we can't mold Lord Ronald into something useful, we certainly can mold his children. He has four so far, four, and I think his wife, Lady D Delone, D Lady Delone uh, of the Torrentine, is pregnant with another one. So we have quite the brood of children here that we can mold into a uh, well, into um, perhaps the next Dark Star, maybe the next one. We got Sir Edgar of High Hermitage. He's attractive, affectionate, brooding, and haughty. We we can use him. Apparently, we can also play as him. He's not lord of anything, is he? Oh, he is lord of the castle High Hermitage. Nice. So, we can't make anything crown focus. High Hermitage. Um, I'm wondering if we can't change his guardian. Could we be his guardian? We can. Is that worthwhile? Do we want to do that? Because we're a trained fighter, and the idea is we want to get A gear as good with intrigue as possible and dueling. Not necessarily martial. Um, a, a decent diplomacy would be nice so that he's not hated by everybody, but having a really good intrigue would be useful. Let's see, he's got pride. He's going to get haughty and brooding. So he's already on the path to become an intrigue-related character. I mean, it, you know, pride, it's red as if it's martial, but there's a lot of stuff that uh, is, 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 is pertaining to intrigue. I can see my the lighting on my uh, on OBS is, is going kind of crazy. I'm kind of flickering in and out. Hopefully that's not too much of a distraction. Um, let's get ourselves as the... Well, I mean, I say that we should get ourselves as the uh, guardian, but we could make Lin, Sir Lin Corbray his guardian. He's got some decent traits. I mean... You know, being being a homosexual isn't the best for making children, but uh, we certainly could use his dual skill. Let's do that. And then we'll have Sir Lin Corbray uh, train the children. Yes, and then we've got Lara, the the lover of the infamous Dark Star. Um, let's get uh, How Sir Howland Pole. Can we get somebody better? Probably. Since we are way more well-liked than the Dark Star was. Uh, ooh, Alan. Treasure of Goldshire. Go ahead and join us, sir. Join us. Um, the maester. We do need a maester. Let's go ahead and invite one. Face the dragon. We will eventually. I mean, we could. We could. Yeah, we could here soon. Once uh, Sir Agir comes of age, we could face the dragon and maybe take it. But that is kind of a couple years. It's like three, four years away. We could face the dragon and kill it. I think, I think that'd be bad. I don't think Lord Rhinel here has what it takes to um, tame the dragon. I'm pretty sure the dragon will kill him. I understand Duskfire is small. Dusk Drogon is written by Daenerys. Uh, Duskfire is um, still a baby. Hmm. I mean, getting the dragon now while it's a baby might be the best thing we can do. What kind of dual skill does it have? Zero. And it doesn't really like us. Foreign religion, foreigner, short reign. It could also kill us. Um, maybe we will try to get the dragon. Maybe. 
Because if we die, then uh, the Regency would go on over to, uh, well, I mean, Sir Sir Aegir would take over, and he has a Regent. Let's get, a, um, before we do anything too drastic, let's get the timer going, and let's get our uh, uh, designated Regents and everything set up. Um, who would the, be the best Regent for uh, for our, uh, our, our potential new son? His mother, surely, right? Surely. And we don't have multiple wives. So I think Lady D Delone would be the best, if she can even... Oh, there she is. We'll make her the regent. Because surely she would have uh, her child's best interests at heart. All right, get another court tutor. Seneschal, we're working on that. Court physician, we're working on that. Someone was born to Lord Ronald of the Torrentine and Lady Delone named Rorin. Right, but is he, does he have any good traits? Not really. Rorin Dane. Rorin Dane. Okay. Dear Father, blessings upon your house. I will gladly accept the guardianship con uh, contract between Sir Lynn and Sir Edgar. Excellent. Good. Appoint counselor. He would like to make us his Lord Treasurer. This will this will suit our purposes for now. How goes this war? Quentin Bl Quint Bl Prince Quentin's blood feud against King Joffrey Waters. I can't believe Joffrey's still alive. Um, how many men does he have? Fourteen thousand. How's that war going? It's going nowhere at the moment. And right now, Quentin. Has a lot of money and a lot of men. Surely King Joffrey has allies. Really? I think he's also attacking Lord Paramount Kevin the Sage Lion. Turning against Lord Lord Master Narbo in a slave raid. Okay. I'm I'm sure the Iron Throne will come around eventually and destroy him. Um, if we're gonna tame a dragon. Ooh. Do we want to increase our plotting? Sure. I'm uh, ah yes we have our we have our new castellan, new castellan get over here, do your thing. Hey, that's not what I wanted. Click on Allen, and oversee the realm, please. Thank you. Okay, we have our regent, we have our council, except for our court physician. Let's go ahead and send for a maester. We can no longer face the dragon. Why is it dead? Is being tutored by Sir Ver Serviceris of Nightfall. Um, no. N no, we're not going to do that. We'll have Ronald. Lord Ronald. Apparently, Duskfire is our courtier. Interesting. I expressed my views on the whole religion and the God thing a bit too loud, and I got a lot of trouble with the priest because of it. God is dead. Oh, that's not a good. Uh, that's not a good attitude to have. Let's see, unknown dragon. My lord, Lord Ronald cannot be the ward of a dragon. But apparently, we are. <laughs> apparently, we are. That's really. That's kind of funny. Ask permission for faith focus. Send a letter to Serviceris asking for permission to change the childhood focus of Duskfire focusing on faith. We'll make Duskfire adopt your religion. Ooh. I'm wondering if that would be worthwhile. Would that be really weird if Duskfire changed to the faith of the seven? Is that even is that even possible? We'll see, I guess. We'll see. Let's see. Council is discontent for how long? We'll be discontented for five months. Well, that, and will be until, oh, has been, has been discontented. So for two years, dear Lord Ronald of the Torrentine, our spy master, your, initiate, your initiative to teach Duskfire about your religion is most welcome, and I accept your proposal. She will be taught well. So we are no longer dragon focus, but instead childhood focus. The voice woke me up, whispering about spells to awaken the dead. Curses to make your enemy go blind and potions to make anyone fall in love with you. Hmm. I've never seen this event before. I hope I can remember all this. I ignore the I ignore the voice to go back to sleep. I hope I can remember all of this. Very weird. Very weird. Become regent. Fall in love see our house on the iron throne. Team a dragon. I think we're gonna try to do that, right? Morris tried to catch the dragon Duskfire and failed. And was eaten as a result. Where will it strike next? All right, why can't we face the dragon? Oh, because before somebody else was trying to was, was, was trying to face the dragon. Well, I mean, Lord Ronald, we've been with you for some time. A little bit of time, a little bit of time. Your son, Sir Aegir, is gonna be taken over the, um, is gonna be taken over. Um, offer an aggression pact. Because he is a lord already. Alisane Dane. Apparently, they're all going down the pride path. Dayron Dane. 
Cassiel Dane, and then we've got Roran here at the end, who's also who's going. He's the only one going down the struggle path. Everyone else is going down Pride. Okay, I think we should um, I think we can we can afford to face the dragon. Which dragon of Starfall shall I face? Duskfire. It doesn't like us, and in fact, we probably don't really have any real good traits that would allow us to tame the dragon. You scoured the area in search of Duskfire, and now you will now you have. Finally cornered the beast. How shall I deal with it? You you will you are mine. I will slay the beast. Better not stay here then. Fifty percent chance we get Craven. You will begin a duel with Duskfire. Let's uh try to tame it. We're probably not gonna be able to do it. What are we wielding? Do we have Dawn? Well, I mean we do have Dawn, but we can't equip we can't equip it because we're um we're kinda shit. We're kinda shit. Um, yeah, let's attempt to tame it. You failed to tame the dragon! Yeah, I kinda foresaw this happening. And we have lost a hand. There's only a stump where your hand used to be. You are now one-handed. I have to deal with this. Ah, well. Well, you know, the dragon is going to continue to be a problem. You see, this is the legacy of the Dark Star. He's left behind a dark dragon that cannot be tamed. It is a danger to Starfall. Right, so Lord Reiner will probably die here soon, but that's okay. That is okay. We have greater plans. Jester's minstrels, acrobat, acrobats, and dancers all have gathered to perform at the festival. Inviting noises, tempting scents festival what festival what festival um the dancers are actually pretty good oh no not them again we get in ooh, we get more intrigue wouldn't mind more intrigue my liege prince M quince uh oh my my liege prince quentin martell owes me gold that house dane has lent to him it is time that debt was paid he will surely honor it i can wait for it i have plenty of coin She'll be extended for another five years without an, without an interest payment. Um, I shall request an interest payment. As our lead, she will surely honor it. Lord Ronald, Dorn cannot presently afford to repay all coin owed to your house, but I shall, of course, pay you the due interest and extend the loan as agreed, as long as I get the coin eventually. Oh, see, now this is the benefit of giving out loans. Now we get money over time. Yes. Prince Badawin of Dorn. Ugly, ugly child. Let's see, we're severely injured. It could very well kill us, but, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, what quality of education would you like to purchase for your son, Sir Aegir of Dorn? Only the best. The best. His, yeah, wait a minute. Why does he have education? Whose doing is this? Oh, it's be it's it's because he he, he rules his own, his, his own place. Wow, that's kind of shit. So he gets to pick what he wants. Oh, great. Now he's going into diplomacy. Great. Damn it. Well, I mean, it will help. It will help when we play as him. He'll be really, really well liked, which will allow us to maneuver. To maneuver and exploit him. Let's see. Quint uh, Prince Quentin has eight intrigue. We have seven. Hmm. Is there anyone in the realm that we can spy on who is an ally of, uh, of Dorne? Start a new faction. Lord Paramount Tristain for Dorne. Overthrow the monarchy. Depose. Depose him. Oh, we don't actually have a claim on Dorne anymore, do we? Wait, yeah, we do. There it is. Now, how, do, how does that work again? What is it, What is this? Uh, on succession, we claims are given to children who are not second or third in line. We claims can only be pressed against female rulers. Current title holder doesn't have full status for women. The claimant is male or either gender if the claimant have full status for women. Regencies, titles already being contested. Titles the claimant is second or third in line to inherit. Hmm. We also have a lot of other stuff, too. Strong claim on the castle of High Hermitage. Weak claim on the lordship of the Abba. We claim, we claim. Will not be inherited unless pressed in war. Hmm. The horrific wound from your maiming is now stinking and oozing pus. Great. Lord Ronald is probably dead. It seems the game does not really like House Dane. So is the Reach still uh, still together? Attacking Prince Harry of the Golden Company. Reachman War in Reachman, the Golden Company Vassalization War. Oh great. Well, I don't really see us being able to press any claims in the Reach at the moment. The High Hermitage already belongs to our son, so we're not gonna we're not gonna take that from him. We're gonna we're gonna let him inherit it. Ooh, offer not aggression pact. Do it. Here's hoping he becomes a legendary warrior. Dear Father, peace with you. I, Sir Aegir of High Hermitage. Okay, he agrees to our proposal of a non-aggression pact. I've increased the time a little bit because I just want I just want shit to pass by. I wonder if we can um, decide upon civil war sides. To either support your liege, King Joffrey, or if allowed, join Quentin and Wattel in their civil war. Well, the war's not going anywhere. And there are 5,000 men down here. How many men can we raise? 
v hardly any. A almost none. And that's kind of because we, d we don't own all the Torrentine. If we did, it'd be a lot easier. Can we spy on this guy? Of course we can. Spy on Dantos. Great. And we, you know what? We might actually join King Joffrey uh, because that would be a good way to get in his good races. Now, there, nothing's really happened in the war yet so far. Lord Ronald White's I am under no obligation to give recompense for levies raised. Okay, he's going to give us more money. That's great. Um, is there anything we can plot against him? Plot to kill, plot to kidnap. No, but we can join. We can join King Joffrey. Unfortunately, that would leave us open to attack. But you know what? If all the Dornish forces are out, out of Dorne, I'm not so concerned about it. So wait till these armies get over here. Although, they, they may raise more. They may raise more. Is King's Landing completely open? Um, not completely open, but it is certainly vulnerable. Yeah, wh what are you doing with your men here? Yeah, it looks like Prince Quentin's gonna win. Hmm, I'm not having much luck spying on Lord Dantos. Yes, it is pointless. Wait, did I actually, did I actually click that? I didn't mean to click that. No, I wanted to keep spying on him. Darn. What a Blackmont. Hmm. Perhaps the seduction focus would have been better. Wonder what secrets he's hiding. Yeah, I didn't I didn't mean to actually cancel that. My bad, guys. Alright, and we will give her the best. The best in education and intrigue. Intrigue. A child has gone missing, and it seems as if everyone suspects me to have something to do with that. Apparently, being a suspected occultist, everyone believes I might use the entrails of children to read the future. Pa. I ignore the talks. I attempt to clear my name. I ignore the talks. Apparently, we're a suspected occultist. I'm not sure how that really happens. A rumor about a spy sneaking around my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red-handed. I am not concerned. Behead him. Ruthless. I'm not concerned. Beheading. Behead them. The infection will probably kill us, but we could easily be the one-handed dark star of the Torrentine. Assuming that we can actually not get killed by it. Alerted by a growing feeling of itchiness, you, have a, you, have, you, you are appalled to notice a, an appearance of a bright red rash. Okay, that could be a bad sign. I cannot take credit for the crime reduction, nor, nor, the, nor the fact the peasants seem happier, but I believe this that justice must be applied to make a better world. Justice, that is, for everyone. Justice prevails. I'm not having much luck spying on Lord Dantos. I find that hard to believe, considering we have six, seven intrigue, and he has zero. I'm sure he's up to something. Although, ooh, whatever whatever was left of your rash is no longer visible in the spot where it was, where no long, it, where it was is no longer itching or causing pain. That's good. I'd like the infection to go away, because that is really destroying our traits. Okay. The war seems to be turning. The defender controls all their holdings. Lonmont, Addison, Ashmark is now part of the war, even though um, King's Landing is about to fall. Interesting. I really want to aid uh, King Joffrey. My stoops overheard Lord Dantos at the elbow as he told shocking lies about his rightful liege. Let's see. Ooh, expose and denounce him. Giving me a reason to arrest him. Do it. Do it. You would dare. You would dare, sir. How many men does he have? 1,000 and we have two, 2,000. All right, go ahead and imprison him. And if he revolts, we can take the elbow from him, I believe. Ah, there we have it. He is now a rebel. Destroy the rebel scum. I don't think we can. We, we should be commanding armies. All right, let's actually lower the timer a little bit. Now he's got mountains here, does he? Doesn't he? He's got hills. All right, and we have mountains here, and then here, here. Yes. Okay. So we have way more men than they do, so we can easily crush this this minor rebellion. Okay. Any time now. There we go. It all depends on how what kind of what kind of uh, 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 commanders we have. Can we get any uh, terrain specialists? Really, do we... Oh, we're really missing people? Huh, it's not really telling me if we've got uh, people who aren't doing anything. Go ahead and perform charity in Starfall. Maester's still not here. Still don't have a maester. Justiciar. Uh, we'll pick Elsera. And I'm thinking, maybe... If we had her so descent, what are the odds that she's going to get captured? 3.4%. That's pretty damn low. But that could be a death sentence for us. But you know what? House Dane worries not about these things. We see the greater picture. Are we auto-stopping plots? Yes. Okay. So, uh, 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 battlefield... Battlefield experts are what I'm looking for. That will join us. 
Um, I'm not really seeing any. Ah, 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 Battlefield Terrain Master. It says narrow flank plus 50%. I don't know what that means. Do we have any people who are mountain experts? No, just terrain experts. Lots of terrain experts. I want someone who's good with mountains, though. That must be a rare thing. Hmm, interesting. Siege experts, defenders. Yeah, can't find any. Interesting. Um, okay, well, let's get... Hmm, who can we use? Let's invite Moores, Moores Crow Food, and then Robert Blackwood. And then how about Harwin the Spymaster? We'll invite all three of those guys, and then we'll make them commanders, and we'll crush the rebellion. Arain, Daemon, who is this? Your courtier, your courtier, Moors, Arian. My lord, the maester has arrived. Nice. Nice. All right. Cupbearer. Let's make that Sempton. Somebody I trust. Surface Harris of Nightfall. I do not trust you. Sir Daemon of Darkholm, you suck. Um, Arian. I thought we had three people. Hmm. So, Moors and uh, 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 Harwin, and how about Arain? That's an army I like. Now, they have what kind of morale? Let them get their morale to 100%. Oh, apparently they got the little war score going. Oh, yeah, because they control their holdings. To the chivalrous Lord Ronald. Ah, there's our third commander. Okay. Let's get the uh, average morale up to 100%, and then we will we'll march on these rebels. What house is this? House Southmere. House Southmere will be will be swiftly dealt with. All right, so we do outnumber them two to one, but they do have the advantage of the hills, but I think we might have them in terms of just the, the quality of our commanders. Our commanders will lay this rebellion low. And Lord Dantos, Lord Dantos will be brought before, uh, well, the Torrentine will be brought to Starfall. That's how it's done. And we can see here that King Joffrey has been captured. Has his family been captured? Yes, Marjorie has been captured. She is imprisoned by a Qu Prince Quentin the Rash, Eleanor Far Farrest. Is that... Oh, oh, King Joffrey's... Oh, okay, he's been defeated, so he's no longer of houses Lannister or Baratheon. He's of a, of a new house. Interesting. So the little war in Dorne is now over. He's accepted. My lord, his... Ooh, his grace, Joffrey, has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Princess Eleanor Farrest, will take the throne. He was beheaded on the order of Prince Quentin of Dorne. Vengeance has been served. I wonder what will happen to Marjorie. Well, she's probably going to be beheaded as well for marrying the little lion that was, uh, that was, uh, King Joffrey. And now the Iron Throne is going to be ruled by a child, I believe, Princess Eleanor of an unknown house. All right, continue pursuing. Destroy the rebels. How many children do they have? Three? All right. Well, we will look forward to ruling the elbow. And apparently we can hold, we can actually maintain it with our demean. Keep pursuing. All right, is that infection gonna kill us or, or what? What's going on here? I'm not really sure. All right, Sir Agir is, Agir is now proud and just. Okay. Armies have been laid low. How many men do they have? Oh, well, easily. We'll storm the Lantern and we'll take the Elbow. City of South Point. Sept of Last Sept. I'm not having much luck spying on Lord Dantos. Um, it is pointless because we're about to crush him. Let's see. Is there anyone that we could afford to spy on? Um, anyone who looks like they might be up to some bad, bad behavior. Well, people you want to spy on would be people who are lustful or ruthless, like this guy here. But we don't have nine intrigue. We have four. We, our intrigue is actually getting worse and worse. Yes, the infection. Not good. Hmm. You're deceitful, but you're trusting. You're likely doing something. Would it be worthwhile to even spy on him, though? I'm not sure, because spying allows us to kidnap, kill, coerce them into uh, joining our factions... Preventing them from joining factions. So if we're going to undermine the rule of Prince Quentin, spying on him would no doubt be the best thing, right? Although I don't think he'd really appreciate that. Oh, wow. Lord Paramount Tristane is an amazing intrigue person. Great. All right. Is his wife... Oh, she's honorable. So, I mean, we could spy on Princess Eleanor, but um, I don't think it would really be worthwhile because 
She doesn't really have any bad traits, nor does Quentin, actually. But let's try it. We'll spy on our liege, and we'll see what that gains us. We've had disturbing news from Starfall of another atrocity committed by your bannerman, Sir Viserys. Apparently, Lady Rera bore him a stillborn child, which triggered a terrible rage. He ordered all the midwives and wet nurses, as well as all of their family, be put into the dungeon and severely questioned. It is reported none survived the horrific torture. Oh, Jesus. He is truly mad. Could we imprison him for that? Apparently we can't. Yes, he is quite the cruel individual. It seems Starfall, uh... Starfall has this uh, effect on people. Now, when can we launch this assault? Uh, a couple days. What's the fort level like? Five? Morse crow food and Malara named Carlon. All right, let's um, let's wait till he gets down to about fifty percent, and then we'll uh, launch the. Uh, there we go. There we have it. Let's see, my lord, I am pleased to report the, success, the successful siege of the Lantern. Lord Danto Southmere could not be found, however. Yours humbly, Moors. Good work, my lord. Send them to the dungeons. Ten percent chance we get greedy. Ten percent chance we get cruel. They become imprisoned. We lose piety. That's all fine. And the war. The war for the elbow is over. Excellent. Revolt against our rule. Now then, what uh, what do we get? What do we get once we've done that? My prisoner, Lord Dantos of Southmere, is complaining about his cell. The Ublay will suit your needs. Do we really want to get cruel? Cruel would make us more intrigue. It would make us more fearful. And certainly would put us on the path towards, you know, honoring the Dark Star, I guess. Um... Do it! Jesters, minstrels, and acrobats. Oh no, not again. Great. We have him the Ublé. Um, Dantos. Apparently it's not going to let us, it's not going to revoke title. Since he's a traitor, our vassals will not object. Must have 100 prestige. Why is that a condition? I don't understand. Why is that a condition? That seems like a very arbitrary thing to do. I want his lands, and I can't have them because my goddamn prestige is too low. Um, we do have his wife, though, Elia Sand. I'm wondering, could we, um, could we perhaps is located in Sunspear? I might be willing, and this is probably pretty terrible, but I might be willing to actually resign from the council so that, uh, Lord Ronald can, uh, pay Lady Elia a personal visit. Because, you know, he is, he is the, um, the, the Dark Star's brother. I don't know why would we expect anything different from him. Um, can we just disband you right now? Yes. And you know what? We don't really need to be Lord Treasurer. So we're going to resign. We will resign from the council. And we will return to Sunspear. And before Dantos can leave... Well, I mean, I say leave. He's in the Ublay, so he's gonna die. We're gonna... Now, now, what I am concerned about, though, is that if we do visit her chambers... Put my kin in the Ublay. What is that going to look like... To the rest of the family here, because Alaria Sand, how is she related to Prince Quentin? Are they related? I'm not really sure. Elias Sand is one of the Sand Snakes. It's gonna piss off all her siblings. At Court and Lemonwood, Lady Doria's in the tour. Oh yeah, they're all over the place. Hmm, but you know what? I feel like this is what the Dark Star would do. Visit Elias Sand's chambers. Well, I mean, Ronald's not the Dark Star, but he could be. He could earn the nickname the Dark Star, and that would be worth it, I think. I went to Elia's chamber and gave her a good tumble. I am Lord here, and I will lay with her. Oh, I can see Lord uh, Prince Quentin's going to be very upset with that. <laughs> hey, it wasn't clear how they were related, okay? I know they're both they're both considered Martells, but really. Let's see, minus 20 for 120 months. Her family and friends are outraged. Okay. I like seeing other people cry. I've gained the cruel trait, which is going to make our intrigue better. Did we get ruthless? No, we didn't. Damn it. Alrighty, well, uh, that's fine. Her, her children are going to be absolutely livid with us, though. Who is their heir? Clarice Southmere. Can we plot to kill her? Um, no. Can we imprison her? N no. Dantos is going to be very upset. We should execute him. Or we could mutilate him. Whoa, look at these other options we've got. We've got Blind Prisoner. Ca well, yeah, of course we could castrate him. Mutilate. As Lord Dantos is your prisoner, you may, give, you may give the order to mutilate him as a punishment. Torture imprisoned. You may give the order to torture him. 
I don't really want that. I, I want his lands. I want his lands and titles. I don't want to, um... But, I mean, it would take so long to get enough prestige to be able to take that from him. Dayron, you will have the best. And we will train you in, uh, in, in, in intrigue. Yes. I'm not sure now if we have cause for uh, him to... Um, uh, him, Prince Quentin, to arrest us. Let's see. Defending against Lord Gilbert of Kingswood and War of Kingswood Independence. Queen Eleanor of the Iron Throne. Queen Eleanor. Why is she in hiding? Probably because everyone's trying to kill her. Declare war. Claim Driftmark for our rain waters. Dowager Queen Marjorie, who is now apparently uh, 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 got a headache in the dungeons. Well, can't really blame her for that. Can't really blame her for that. Okay, so we're we're over our time. Oh, shit. You have hired an old assassin to teach you how best to thwart the efforts of his kind. He has taught you several valuable lessons, like never sitting with your back towards the door and to never stay long in an inn that smells of manure. These lessons will prolong my life. Okay, so Lord Ronald started off being pretty decent, and in only one episode, we've turned him into, well, he's, he's a cruel, one-handed, potential occultist who could die at any moment. So I think that with this perseverance, we could essentially make House Dane, uh, well, well, they, they, the house of all the Dark Stars. House Dark Star Dane. Hmm, interesting. Well, we'll have to contemplate how we're going to use this all to our advantage in taking and claiming Dorne. But that, ladies and gentlemen, will have to be in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, be sure to go on over to my Patreon page and throw some support my way to help me make more content. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. And until next time, I will see you all later.